Good on ya. All right, all right. Good on ya. <laughs> My follow plans up. You guys see they give me a custom watermark on my Valo plant? You're so cool. I know, right? Wow. And they already moved it to the bottom and right. I'm working on my yellow theme. Yeah. He's in a Discord DM with them, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I asked him to move it to the bottom right because it was blocking the bottom left, and they did it in like two minutes. They're like, oh shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Our ad revenue or whatever, I don't know. Okay. So I like it because people always ask what the website is, but now they can just see. All right, all right. You've already seen my split guy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This isn't a 4v5, right? No. Okay. I'm just star says one. Oh, somebody's already dead. Never mind. We're 20 seconds in a round. You got audio? No. No. Uh, how about now? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. This is um this is super contextual, you can't just copy this, but he's very aware that it's very unlikely they pushed um main because his cipher just wrapped ramp. So he came rafters here to be a little tricky. This angle's really good. That's our teammate, chat. Oh my god, Zom chill. Hey, what do you think about Shazam drama? Hey, what do you think about Shazam drama? <laughs> hey, why is JPC silver? Shazam drama, I don't care. When that show was happening, I, I, I logged into Bank of America and I saw millions. So why would I care? Millions. <laughs> locked. This is interesting. Um. I haven't seen this type of play he before on this map. Locked. They're double contesting mid and taking That's space. For a. Oh, you alright, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I think I had a second one. Uh, they're, they're, they're up. They're pop the cage. Pop the cage. Pop the cage. They're bot. They're up. Got it. I haven't moved them. Hey, left B. Oh, they're not. Uh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Almost there as well. Almost there. I think. Twenty feet. Yeah, and this positioning is really good. You're gonna see this a lot on pop flash agents. So the pattern you should always internalize. I like. Carl is the poster child. This space is super wide open. That yellow, we got to work on those colors. This space is super wide open. And so pop flashes become really powerful. If somebody's out here and they get flashed, they've got nowhere to go. It takes them too long to get to cover. You kill them for free. Split, there's certain areas that are similar. Like look at this. So this space is massively open. If somebody's here and they get flashed, they're done so. They're like here. And so he's intuitively positioning himself in places where he can do these flashes. He did this last round too. This heaven space is really open. So Sam is trying to find himself where he can pop flash these open spaces and fight. He's not going to find himself as often pop flashing like a tight space like this and fighting. Uh, because these tight spaces, people can run and get undercover and it minimizes the value of your flash. So he's really trying to find these open spots to farm his flash. And so he, there we go. I predicted him like clockwork. He pulls his flash out. They're running away. They're running the away. Then they're leaving. I just really just want to fight people. It's like, is, is that a possibility? I just want to start fighting people. I'm not saying I'm going to win the fight. I just want to fight people. Find me. Like it's nothing. Like, so cute, OMG, when you hold one in your Okay, he just dies. I have, yeah. and I'll, let me know when... in the yearly aspiration. It's good that they're I facing who frame me. That guy IGL's hard. Safe, who's chase? I'm gonna no, I'm fine. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, Are you? I don't care. I don't care. Squad, squad, here, knife, here, knife, here. Nah, just damn it. Damn, I must have one knife. I don't think they are. Smoking main. They, they, they could be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think. Hard defense up, yeah. 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 Hard defense up, Oh, this is high quality VOD. You have to shoot it instantly. It, it was on, so it saw me. 
mid. Enemy spotted mid. Okay, I'm mid. Right. Going back here. You think rope accuracy is so good? Monkey business does not you mean that red dot, Kyle. Kill my ally. Three, two, three. Good D. Cypher's lurker. Yeah, I just want to One more, one more. I can cook. I'm with you, Cypher. I'm bidding you. I flash him. Oh, I'm bidding him right now. I want you one to have I want you to bend you, bend you. I think I died. I'm going in. No! Yeah, so he's mauled at Omen for this. He's trying to have Omen play contacts, so they come out, and flash when they're out in the open. It's the same idea. When they're out here and blinded, they got nowhere to run. They're too far to get to this cover. And if they run this way, they're running into his Omen, who ideally would be tucking health. So it's free kills, but his Omen uh, kind of. I died, I died. I'm going to 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 i am going to i Slap on the top of it. All right. Where's the fight? At the bottom, when you grab the rope, you want to jump off it while holding shift. Instead of um just like riding the rope down to the bottom. Um I think didn't you say this the other day too? Like also by smoking it, it made them not go into sight and they wanted them to go into sight and then they left. Yep, yep, that's what Calypso just did. There is a total dweeb. That smoke was bad. Anyone I catch slacking off has to join my morning run tomorrow. Wake up at four. There was like some merit to it because his teammates were doubled up on this flank. So they had them contained essentially. So that one way really keeps them locked in garage because his two teammates were here. But I don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, so you you drop, you grab the rope, and now you jump off. You don't like let go, you jump off. Hey. You can do it pretty quickly and make no noise. Okay. Back to Psalm. Back to Psalm. Uh, with audio. Here we go. 30 seconds left. One enemy remaining. Oh, I'm down. This guy's probably in B Spike somewhere. down B. Drop to heaven. 15 seconds. Going, going. She's, she's, she's weak, she's weak, she's weak. Stay alive, I'll win you this round. No time, no time. You cannot win the round. Cannot win. He is weak. Oh! Oh my god. Wow! Wow! Oh. Do you want to see uh, a cyber difference? Wait, what? Uh, by the way, uh, million dollars. Billion dollars. Okay. Million dollar company, by the way. Mid, We're on mid. Let them off, let them off. I need mid. Maybe, maybe fence. Maybe fence. I flashed, let's go. How is he not blind? Spike down, B. 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 The pattern again and again. He's even baiting his entire team to get these flashes. <laughs> he wants to flash them when they're in this region. Where they're too far to get to cover before he can swing. And he's trying to call it, but his teammates are it's so low key. They just keep taking these fights. Uh so I really wants them to spot and like unswing with this flash. But it still works. It's his. Very nice turn by the way. Anything? Alright. I'm smoking mid now. I'm smoking. Okay, that's an info flash. Actually, neat. He's throwing it back behind the box and keeping it tucked for a bit. And then he's lifting it up and popping it to get info if they're walking out Robin this way. Cause it comes across, they like dodge it, untuck, but it doesn't pop. They're like, oh, it's a fake bird. They start walking out and then it pops here. And if it like pops and sees one, they know he knows they're mid. And otherwise it's, it's pretty likely that they're, they're piecing out. 
as you can see here. He's not worried about mid. Here comes the party. Oh no. Rosa? Is that him? That's him? Oh, never mind. Oh, no, he is. <laughs> I have mail, I have mail. I have to, I have to leave mid. I have to play back. Go safe. Go back in mid now. Cage, get across. I'll play top round. I'm mid. They're still holding mid. You can I'm gonna hold later. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm gonna go hold cypher. Oh shit, Reef. I got it, I got it. Damn, dude, nobody walks up B main after all this. This is a silent jump spot, by the way. You don't need to learn how to do this. Wait, what's going B main? Wait, this is good. 109 on Sage. 141 on Sage. I got KO too. He just got baited. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll one way. Come, come. You got a thing, chat? Watch the spray. When I say, as a marshal. Okay, so here he's looking for late mid lurker, and now he sees two. This is really telling. Two cages there. Two cages there. Oh, one, one's outside B main. You got it right now. Two essentially means that um they're not running a a hit yet. So if he just saw one like an omen back here, and there was noise A, then there's probably four A. And this guy's just trying to be that late mid to ropes to heaven player. But because he saw two, it's much more likely that there's like one A, or two, and then there's some guy B main. It's more like they're, they're default because it's not too mid. You usually don't allocate two to mid unless um you're just spreading the map and trying to like take space, bait you to. Oh. Yeah, so there's a third mid. That's super Spike right. down mid. One enemy remaining. And that was probably the B main guy. Uh, Did you see a one outside B main? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, child. I got a little bit bored. <laughs> Yo, he's running. And shooting. <laughs> Cypher. I'm gonna flash him. one cat. Away, I'm running over. Do you have to stand the place I can? Do you have to stand right here? <laughs> oh, Cam sees it. Damn, I sure know speed. exactly. I'll go back here. Bring him in. Time to hunt. Thank you, Cam. What was that flash? Oh, I think he's trying to like fake. He's trying to be like, yeah, my bird's going out here. And he's like, nope, we're in heaven. They like came back. That's so hard to aim. Using minimap for that? He's doing a lot of U turn birds. He does it with the boxes like twice I saw. Oh, yeah, there one. it is. That's tough. That's a tough flash. But from their POV, they see the flash that comes out that way and they think they're chilling like he's he's essentially trying to convince them that he's the only b player and that site is open and he's checking if they're pushing out site right now and so that gives them confidence in a split second to like come out because they're like radiant players like intuitively like ob is open then the flash curves back and pops and they're out here now because they've already been trying to capitalize on the space that they think is theirs because of the the path of the bird is the idea and that's that's why that guy's like already swinging out okay obviously cypher is mid what am i thinking like at the very start of the game you start in like a top scene the hell is this guy talking about? I have talking been about? made control. Reloading. They double picked that orange. I'm coming. Trying to catch him. Being orb. Nah. Up, up. I have a judge. I have a judge. I have a judge. Can you, can you smoke here? I have a judge. He's trying to get across to rafters. He wants to fight heaven from this side because he's cooked if he stays ropes. Because uh, if they like contest heaven as a a unit, uh, ropes is like really tiny choke. It's actually pretty easy for them to like wall it off or whatnot, smoke it, nade it, anything. 
it's really difficult for them to deal with rafters and rafters is with his homies as well to help lock down a main to sort of funnel them up this rampway and then we'll we'd see the same flash that we just saw because the space is super open that we saw a pistol round uh so he's trying to bunny up across and he gets unlucky the ko had crossed he's like tucked behind his box can you smoke here? Can't not do it. No, man. Can't think of the time. Oh, you saw oh, how hype you up and shit? It's fine. Yo, I, I, I should have. No worries. Full time. Woo! Back. 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 That Reyna has to see my guide. He's bringing Ram inside. Each cross on camera, man. He's going, going Reyna, trust me. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Put across, keep going, brother. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Oh, come on, I'm out. We got a rope for him. Yeah, I'm leaving right now. I'm gonna go pick up that. Okay, okay. Out. I think Blind didn't make it. Right 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 right. Okay, so Sam's basically taking on this job. I'm trying to figure out his overall, like, playstyle. He's essentially trying to figure out what type of mid pressure it is each round so occasionally after he gets that pick he's throwing a bird to see if anybody's mid he's trying to figure out when it's the late mid lurker round using his util but he always tries to hold on to a flash or a flash timing so here this i would call it a flash timing because he's gonna have a flash up by the time he'd want to use it to get kills but he always seems to hold on to one three three b yo katarina is disgusting. i'd be surprised if he used this flash for him 120 low there's no one A, by the way. They're all B side right now. But they can change. No ready yet. No He's mid. He's going a. around, mate. Why is everyone saying F? What happened? You don't care about drama? I love drama. What are you talking about? Okay. Stop. Oh. Ay, 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 Three side, three. three in the side. Look at how bad she is. She's just shooting. Alright, just keep walking straight, yep. Nice try, bro. Me. Hey, the roll. Yeah. Girl out. Is your stinger? Yeah. Do the stinger. One mid. Two mid. A lot mid. Three, 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 three. Yeah, this guy He's is passive on Sky. So same idea. They see two mid, and now he's trying to figure out. Okay, is it default? So he sends the bird into this location. He's always trying to figure out their formation. He uses like one bird for info or a dog, and they like holds. Yeah, yeah, and this is like a kill flash. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But a flash. Oh. 140, 145. Maybe? Devastating, guys. I'm gonna be honest. No, man. 113 care. 113 care. Oh my god, my. I'm out. I'm out. I can't Check him. Check him. I'm giving you a look, Spunk. Uh, yeah, nice sham. Nice. And this one. Ooh. One HP, one spawn. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I cannot headshot people. What the fuck? They're both pillar and site. The clips has been good for it. Sure one HP, one HP. Cover going out. He sucks. Yeah. What I like doing a lot with these angles is um I'll like smart ping that angle and I'll like pre-fire jiggling of that B main angle. But he just Teamed up. Ulting up now. Can't hold it. Oh. Each cross A man. Cypher. Dead. Oh, rope, yeah. rope. Running up. He's healing him. Or rushing him. No. Not I respect that. that he baited him, so. They're rushing in. You fuck me, Nando? Look how dog shit. They cancel, cancel. They're leaving. Running B, running B, running B, running B. Pretty dude. One enemy remains. He's here. Yeah. Yeah. New cross. Okay. Not this not. defensive playbook's really straightforward. So, essentially. He's this is like his um rotation pathing almost always is he finds himself against this back wall and it extends like this type of way and out to here. And then he's got the comfort zones. So if he wants to fight 
for B. This is his comfort zone. He wants to fight for like heaven. We find this being his comfort zone, like B heaven. Sometimes you know this box. He's always trying to prioritize these flashes. But A, he's got this comfort zone back here, and he's got this comfort zone heaven. So these are like the I guess like the sky sweet spots that Sam keeps trying to find himself playing. And essentially as he juggles himself between these green zones, he's just trying to figure out how they're hitting. Like where are the enemies playing? Are they currently defaulting? Are they currently about to execute? Is there a late mid lurker? So he's trying to figure that out at the same time while trying to play between these zones. So if you were to watch this VOD back now that you that I've outlined these zones, you would see it. Like this is where he's playing. He's really trying to prioritize uh getting into these zones so with that in mind watch let's watch a couple rounds well, back yeah. and you you'll see so remember where the green zones are we we'll generalize this into a way you can like replicate the so green zones are like happy flash zones oh my god and then we're always doing these ct rotation b main is even while his teammates are going mid he just switches between happy zones. He like doesn't even aggress with these guys. It's like, okay, time to go to my next hey, happy zone. Oh, three, 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 three. Um, okay, we can slightly... I think this is also... He's pretty happy here too, I think. I'm so sad. He's always switching between these zones, trying to find good flashes. And occasionally getting dynamic. But like nine times out of ten, we see him going to one of these zones. Where did he go? He goes into his zone. Now he was looking to rotate. He's killed. There he is. Round starts. We're getting ready to play in our B zone. We don't see much pressure B. We think it's not going to be B. We rotate. It was on, so it saw me. Move back to his zone. So I can be behind. Thirty seconds left. Standing on the ground. Zone. Playing our zone again. So it's actually really flow charty. Like the way he's playing Sky. You could basically mimic this um like decision making tree pretty one to one now uh on defense. So he's floating between these green zones and occasionally determining that okay, I need to adapt for this scenario though. And occasionally helping a teammate. Like he played rope here. Uh he pushed out to get some info and a numbers disadvantage. But a large majority of the time he's just prioritizing getting himself into the zone that's most likely to see action. And he's trying to figure out where that action is going to be using his uh, utility while trying to prioritize that when he gets to his zone, he'll have one flash. Because these zones are like free kills as long as he has a flash up. So that's how he's playing Sky on defense. He's trying to maximize his odds of being here when the enemies are here. Or being here when the enemies are here, when the enemies are here, or enemies are here. So corresponding to each zone. He's trying to figure out where they're most likely to go and get himself into that green box before they get there so he can get his kills with his flashes all right let's watch offense i hope that explanation is understandable break this wall go walk me go walk. he's gonna go walk me he's gonna go walk me <laughs> all right i'll smoke now my shot maybe? will improve tenfold <laughs> Yeah, apologies for watching kind of quietly, Not but I'm really trying to get like the, the biggest read on these VODs that I can for you guys. Look where, what side he's swinging from. Pro player. Isn't it interesting? I'm not sure why he's got 400 credits. We'll try and figure it out. I flash. I swap. Maybe it's for a bulldog. Bye. So he wrapped here. Oh, he just got so red. This is a high elo thing. Um. So enemy team 
he hears one coming ropes coming up towards heaven and so he's sneaking behind this box to hold ct but this guy here knows that that's his only good option it's, oh my God. it's laid out oh now he goes people okay sheriff light okay he gets the stinger I think the 400 credits thing is an anomaly. We'd only get it if he won that round, I think. So, I don't know. Oh my god. And here you see him even backseating the Reyna. He's trying to get his mid player to play Lurk. What Reyna should do and what you should do if you find yourself in this position, you get the mid pick, you've got mid control, your teammates going and there's four here and you're mid. You want to play here um, or even like further back. These are all good angles. Um, anything further up like this is really sad. This is sad because you get spotted. Um, and likewise, if you're the mid rotator on defense and you know there's four B or three and they got to pick mid and you're rotating, you want to clear these angles and you'll be surprised how often you're gonna get kills doing this um like here? even if you're like in diamond you're out here like oh. i get if you're below diamond probably don't worry about it uh like don't worry about clearing them but do worry about playing them you may as well build the habit of clearing them but you're probably not gonna see them doing this they're not gonna be that smart but you probably diamond it up i think Flashing people default. might do it smoking ct hell dead yeah, so on offense, his flashes are way less solo play and way more teamwork. Uh, defense, he was really just playing his own game, using the flashes to contest space on his own, get his own kills. Offense, he's really using these to get space for his team. I have you, my kitten. Thank you. By the way, yes, uh, everyone forces now after losing. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's just going stinger. Flawless. Stinger meta is back. Let me cook. I'm cooked. Wow, what? Wow. Get close cage. Listen, 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 listen. We're gonna double cage. I'm gonna dog cipher up ramp. He's gonna think it's only two. You guys walk out main when I say. The spike mm. is here. When I say, you grab sure you wait for it? Time So when life. you say, yeah, okay, they're running a bait play. Um, this is just uh, I'll explain because it's interesting, but you can't really call for this. Uh, he's gonna cipher cage, cipher cage. He's gonna dog his cipher up. His cipher's gonna follow the dog. And the reason they're going to think it's only two is because there's going to be no more util and nobody five stacks A like this. Generally, you need mid pressure on split. So the enemy team's going to expect, oh, they're running three late mid. And he's calling this because look at the enemy comp. There's no dog, no hard recon. All they have is a knife. And so that KO can't possibly knife both sides of mid. So if that KO, say like knives uh, sewers, then they could, all three could be ramen slow. He knives ramen, all three could be sewers slow. So because their comp lacks the ability to gather the information about whether or not they're slow lurking mid, this plays really strong that he's calling. So this is really contextual. You can't really copy this, but that's why. Uh, I hope that's interesting. And they're dodging knife here too. Wait, sorry, what? Um, what if they just, like you said, when you're rotating through mid, you should clear those angles. What if you just clear and see that nobody's there? Um, no. Um, so it's like later into the round you clear those angles. Um, you're not gonna push out mid like this when you only think there's two A. You die. You push out mid like this when you think there's four A or four B. Remember, it was like when you know that there's four pushing out B. Uh, yeah. You look for that mid lurker. Here they they would think there's only two. This is a death wish pushing out mid like this. The attackers have a huge advantage if you push out mid into multiple people. So they're gonna dodge the knife for their cages. Oh, FNS got tagged by the. Everyone else walk. Let Cipher and I make noise. But it's still fine. This cage is on. I was watching Nats before you started streaming, and he was throwing them like every round. What those cages? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Like without fail. So bad at first, man. Have it shoot him. What's like? Heaven, 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 heaven. Reyna. Heaven in sight. Heaven in sight. There's a guardian on sight. Guardian on sight. Shit. Main, main, main. He's gonna get to his zone. Yeah. Immediate. I, I want. I wish I paused a second earlier. 
he recognized he's in the 1v1 he's got his flash and now we're effectively playing defense it was like zone flash and he's probably gonna go for either elbow or right here his flash Ooh, no info yeah, he flashes for info because flash timer zone flash is so straightforward i mean he loses the duel but look how copyable this playbook is yeah he does it really accurately though like he recognizes here oh i'm gonna have my second flash in seven seconds or nine seconds so he uses his first flash for info and the reason he's throwing it he's throwing it up against that wall because you're out here like wouldn't you want to flash out here to surely blind them but he wants to figure out how far reyna is so if he pops the flash against this wall and it doesn't blind then he knows reyna's not past this imaginary line that makes sense so it he, this flash gives him time to be like oh well then i can walk up here she can't be wrapping me elbow if he instead pops the flash out here it gives him less information because uh it would blind like reyna way back here or way up here so when you're flashing for info you almost want to minimize the effective flash range so that the information is more um like detailed that's like the trade-off you're making you're either going to flash more or you're going to flash uh tighter so info flashes generally speaking you want to be tighter especially in the duels you want the flash like even better if the skybreaker get all the way there like flashing in the ground here is really good info because it essentially locks them into a box like this uh the problem is timing wise the arena could actually get up here which is why that flash is no good here there's nothing jump spots and then it's like okay here she is now you know he's got time and so he gets into his zone he does his zone flash and then he just gets laid out stinger diff you guys uh, i'm gonna smoke no. And you're almost never gonna see him peak ramen so if he starts ramen he's just gonna be doing it for the dog because it's better dog pathing no bomb oh timing um you've probably all died to this on split if you play the map before the changes if your team is group mid you've probably died to this guy uh this is like like 115. Uh, most of the time. That's why he's not worried about it right now. If you look at the clock, they're going to wrap around this before 115, and it's not even a problem. I got him, bro. Hey, Grace, come take this plant. How come Pro VOD review so early today? No, 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 no. Oh, I'm moving it into the mornings. Yeah, I'm just doing shorter weekend streams and then doing the tier three oh, wait, events wait, wait. Oh, so right wait. after. Both, both, both. Oh, Keep my schedule more consistent. I'm posted. One enemy nice, nice, nice. Evening here. <laughs> yeah, it's basically right after my stream. The stream ends a bit early on the weekends. Oh wait, my birds. Uh oh, is he dead? No, he's grabbing a gun. There's an angle that we might see him play. If you play like behind this thing to watch a smoke, it's quite strong. Oh, he's juggling the gun away because they're on eco. Okay, you have this gun. Oh, he's gun baiting. Walk to the oh, 
Team back sight, scale on him, okay, ready? Three, two, rotating up there, rotating up there, rotating up there, rotating up there. Always expect the refrag. Okay. I break his shit. Actually, would you say yes or no? Yes, then you have to lose a hundred million. Damn, this guy's playbook is such a flow chart. I can hear you, my sister. Meow for me, meow. Meow. Got that. Put the gun, put the gun. Nice, nice. I'm bringing the meow for you. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes them get extra healing if they meow for you first. Is that better than mine? No, if it left. Oh, we have A? Yeah. I think we have A. Yeah, Wait, go B, go B. What is that guy doing? Well, I could have walked behind you. Both follow there, both me, here, both me. here, bro. Both are fucking. They want me so bad. You always look away when you finish this plant. For the same idea, you face the same reason you face the corner with the corner plants. Facing away here or out in this direction will make the bomb stick out more for B main. And this is the best plant if you can get it because now it's planted for b main heaven and ct it's planted for everything One enemy remaining. Nice. Yo, monkey so if this were a pro game uh sam is going to be main right now one tap for five dollars i'll give you five dollars for one tapper but he wants this clip last player standing <laughs> what Oh, he's Fuck better. <laughs> he's too yeah, good. He's so much better, though. I'm not that's, not that's good. I'm tipping across. I don't care. <laughs> you are one dumb motherfucker, Raina. I break his camera. Yeah. I'm gonna have him, have him. Damn, we actually played in the lead. Flash looks interesting. I'm gonna have him, have him. Okay, he's checking for mid lurch. One more, one more heaven. Nice res. Baby. Oh my god. Yo, he saw like me. This. Nice. Right. One more. Two, 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 two. Oh my. What's going on, bro? I don't know. I'm just sitting there. Slash, brother. Okay, see if he can heaven. See if he can heaven. There's a gun. Last player standing. See, brother. Get ult, though. They don't know about me. Oh my, many more. They definitely know about you. So here, the reason Sam doesn't dog is actually a little nuanced. He notices his entire team is going to swing mid. And he doesn't want to tell the enemy team that all five of them are here. Because the moment they know all five are mid, this base becomes the defenders. They'll take all of it. They'll take all of it. So he sees his entire team going gangbusters, and he's like, oh, okay, I'll hold my dog, and I'm going to stay back here. Even though he's an initiator. Well, he sees his Reyna's about to flash out. It's At this point, like, what's the dog going to do anyways? They're all out. Yeah, fair enough. So he'd rather just not get tagged by the knife and not give up that they're all mid. So many flashes, bro. Of course, of course, sure. monkey business. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's like the enemy team kind of gamble. Oh, they're all there, all there, all there. Oh, yeah, bro. Wait. What? Like, like, imagine. Break that knife, Same idea. Uh, oh, John, you gotta break that knife, man. Right. Damn, oh, John, you John don't give a fuck. Hold oh, that, John. Oh, bro. Oh, yes, yes. Nice. Okay, we'll go B now, right? Hey, you got your come in, come in, come in, come in. Found one. I, I'm out. Dude. Oh, shit. We're coming, TT. I'm going back. I'm going back, B. Wait, why? They're all here. Sounds mad because he's in his zone. Whatever works for me. 
See? And immediately you see how he's playing in his hand. Heaven, Dory. NCT. Heaven. Uh, Easy. Easy. All right, offense playbook, very straightforward. If he's going to just contest mid and fight, he's right over here. If his teammates are going to contest mid and he's like with them, he's over here using his doggo. And then it's mostly all support flashes. So we're hitting B, his flash seems to be popping out in the open here. Hitting A, his flash seems to be popping up here or back in this heaven area. What's up with this? Oh, yeah, you like that? Uh, I've got like custom Valor plant features. The developer of Valor plant like hooked me up. Uh, offenses is really dynamic here. He's mostly just playing with the team and playing a supportive role. He's always just trying to fill what's lacking. So the mid lurk sometimes was lacking. He would take it up. Uh, occasionally he'd ask his teammate to do it and he'd go group. Uh, offense seems pretty straightforward. So pretty much just start mid every round. Um, you probably have to adjust based off the lobby you're playing in. Uh, but defense is definitely where the secret sauce is. Defense seems really straightforward. So once again, let me remind you where our sky zones are. This seems very straightforward. Don't forget it. When the enemies are around that red X is when you want to top your flash out from the sky zone. Otherwise, you want to use your util as conservatively as you can to figure out how they're going to push and which sky zone you need to find yourself in. And then he's doing these very safe CT rotations between them to get positioned and ready to get his frags. All right, all right. All right, let's see if we can scrub one more VOD. Some sky split and see how close we are to being correct. I'm back. This is a different VOD, so it should be different sky zone. Well, we have them downloaded on round one. one more. Sky zone. The smoke. I'm in sight, hiding. Sight. Heaven, heaven. Heaven, heaven. Crying in the club. Like for myself. Two trips made. He's pogging in the club. One more. I can give you a smoke to play with. Okay, right? One I fucked up. Trip. I nice shot. You guys leave me in. Let's welcome back. At nothing A, nothing A. Just overstack mid. Info flash. Nothing Info dog. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it looks like he actually does look to sometimes so get sorry, kills off no. of that mid flash. <laughs> I have you, I have you. Now he's just fighting because he doesn't have flash. So the sky zones are really where he tries to go when he's got his flash. Uh, Raina too. I'm looking in front of you. Yeah, you could see it before that flash came out. He's trying to shift walk across. Sky zone. If you tuned in late, Anson, just watch the VOD. Uh, but we've essentially figured out Sam has uh, like five sweet spots that he always tries to position himself as sky. And his defensive playbooks just revolves around him trying to get to those zones. So here he sees them deep. Yeah, look, look how flowcharty this is. He sees that they can't push up through that smoke and he's immediately getting into his zone. Bam. The fuck? Where's my rosters? <laughs> Clear. Bam. He gets clapped, but he was in his zone. Yeah, I think I think we've downloaded his playbook. This guy's zone. Hey, uh, for everybody wondering, it's these green boxes. This is where he's mostly going to be playing. So he tries to position into these green boxes to play his flashes. And we're seeing every round he's in one of these green boxes. What do you do if attackers are five-man rushing sides? Depends on the game, depends on your comp, depends on your teammates, depends on the enemies, man. Click them though, generally speaking.
Ooh, we did see him play ropes a bit. Fuck off. He doesn't seem to use it um as like um yeah he uses ropes as a support flash not as a fast flash and it makes sense because if he fast flash from ropes there's lots of cover for the enemies to talk into so these zones are all based around zones where there's or uh flash areas where there's not easy cover so ropes here i think his team just wanted to contest me Oh man, he almost hit that. Look at these guys, man. Be man, be man. Wow, man. I'm curious here if he's gonna. Yeah, he is. He's getting into one of his zones. You can walk here. Spike planted. Feels bad. On site. That's uh, different. My right click doesn't do that. Um, Nothing. One A, two A, three A, Razor. Dick. Two. They're all. They're all. One. Razor's one. All right. Looks like A retake is the same as like playing Viper A retake on Breeze. Razor's one. It's the sad. Sad experience. So if you're playing against yeah, Sam, you put this dude on every take. Viper Vival is solo controller on split. If you mean in pro, probably not. No. I mean in solo queue, pretty much anything's viable in solo queue. Five duelist is fine in solo queue. Whatever you're doing, don't stop. I'll be, I'll be. Here, here. Got your trap. One's here, close, 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 close. Close, uh, heaven. That's my... Oh, I'm in a... Oh, no. One could be in our spawn. Got you. Oh, no. Hold out. Hold out. One enemy remaining. Look at this. Asta! Are you fucking kidding? It's fine, I'll retake. I'll retake. I'll retake. Yeah, so he's very dynamic though. Like when the situation calls for it, he gets out of this comfort zone. So you hear that kill jail ult's coming? And he knows that this isn't a kill flash, but he's using this, um, this flash to kind of keep them back so that they can't capitalize on their kill jail ult as much. When it's not ulting, pretty much all the time, speaking of. <laughs> it's the type of ability you kind of just pop. We did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. We did it, boys! We did them down! Just pop as soon as you get Yeah, try not to think of ultimates as different than a normal ability. Um, This is a common pitfall lower rated players will get into and you'll notice in like lower rated VODs you're going to see like tons of yellow banners at the top all the time because everyone's trying to find the perfect time to ult. You'll watch a high yellow gameplay and there's almost never yellow banners. They just they just use the thing. It's just an ability. Uh, don't get too attached to it. Like Think of it as a free ability. Just use it. I have a new our audio. Okay, mid. We don't have 400 credits this round. He bought healing second bird. Let's go. One more. Here. Mid. So we're really scrubbing. I wanted to get through a second VOD to see if there was anything different in case he's autopiloting in one of the VODs. But this playbook seems very straightforward. Dude! Shoot the fucking turret! First string! <laughs> Easy. Just pop as soon as you get it. Yeah, like nine times out of ten. Yeah, you just pop it. Sam, that call was insane. They pushed A. I know. I like for all know. intents and purposes. Can you just call for an in your yellow? I would just pop it. Hold on, let me cook. 
I have to start picking sky on split this, <laughs> this is everyone after every single tier three pro analysis they're like whoa wait this agent on this map it all makes sense i'm a yoru fracture player now it's for all else yeah pretty much what did you say zender card i was already playing sky so i'm solid okay, flashing out, flashing out, flashing out. yeah I have a sale of why is it for some that playing in a sweet spot isn't autopiloting but for Sasha it is no, 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 no. Sam's playbook looks like this, trying to anticipate the team and get into these spots to play pop flashes while calming. Sinatra's playbook is jump spot on top of this box. Every round is raised no matter what. <laughs> um, Sinatra's playbook is one dimensional in that you can always predict exactly what he's going to do. While Sam's playbook is very dynamic, where we saw many rounds where he didn't just play to his... Sweet spots, Anson. The sweet spots was like a 70% of the time he's doing that. And 30% of the time he's getting really dynamic for the specific round. Oh. One here, one here, one here. Like just their solo queue rank tells the story. Uh, why does Sinatra's playbook work? What do you mean? It doesn't. That's why he's only rank 100 when Sam is top 10 frequently. And Sinatra could be top 10 if he actually played the game for real. No, you guys left bomb? Exactly. He's underrated. It's, not, it's hard for you to hear like oh he's rank 100 so that's good not for sinatra it's not good for sinatra that's low sinatra should be like top 10 if you were super try hard remaining it's 26 then <laughs> One Raptors. Go through, go through. I'm flashing. Okay, the occasional A dog. He like Take never Kevin. dogs B now. though. Hey Kevin. And he always calls people he heals his kittens. I wonder if that's like a buff. I have this. Why is he stopping his dogs for going across the corner? He's jiggling his dogs. Um, because the enemy's gonna shoot his dogs. He's like jiggling it around the corner to try and bait bullets. And the idea why he doesn't oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the idea is if bullets come, then sometimes he'll click early and have the dog leap. So let's say he jiggled around this corner, somebody shot at it from this general area. Now instead of walking the dog out, Sam seems to just leap the dog out and get info. He was like, oh, okay, they're going to shoot the dog anyway, so I'm just going to use that leap to get more info faster. But just that little jiggle to see, are they going to shoot my dog? If no, he keeps walking. If yes, he considers leaping. Can you guys stay alive? I'm flanking. Alright. Planted for Billy. You should run. I'm trying to flank spawn. Dude, he swings that. This is fucking moronic. Low IQ okay. little That's a lot of min-maxing. Yeah, welcome to a pro Valorant. I can flank heaven after. Late heaven lurk is lit. Oh, no, you, bro. Bro. Support flash. Go mid. Plant for heaven. Enemy remaining. Dog A. Run up, take I'll come heavy pressure. Back, like Ooh, this is different. He's Info flash down. first and then dog. Right he's hell. He's he's hell. I think he's determined his enemies don't contest heaven as uh up front. So on the off chance they do, he'll burn the bird, but he his dog isn't getting any value this game. Popping it way back here. So he's trying to get up a bit further to pop the dog so he can spot like hell, uh, deeper heaven. Flashing hell, flashing hell. Oh, my Woo. Oh, my. oh my god, FNS is different. Yo! FNS is different. Alright, 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 alright. We've got it. We've got them downloaded. On offense? No, no. Yes, 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 pretty much. So if his team is contesting B, he's pretty much mid. 
if his team's contesting A, he's kind of down to go A a lot of the time because of this like heaven split. On B, if he comes out B main, he can't really do anything about this heaven area. So he's really concerned with contesting these zones on offense for his team using his util. Sight less so, heaven more so. And then on defense, we, we got that figured out for sure. Oh my God, it flips the art too. Look at that. We have defense figured out for sure. It's absolutely these are your most desirable locations to find yourself positioned. Saman split is now read like a book. Yeah, in solo queue, in solo queue. Uh, this is like, this is why I can like tell you before even booting up a random pro on a certain map what they're gonna do, because I kind of have these reads on these players. They're pretty autopiloty in solo queue. Um, there's like those dynamic rounds, but they they default back to the consistent playbooks. So just yoink this, take your free RR, and good luck in your games. I'm going to end the recording there.